Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, I have a Christmas haul for you guys. I don't know if I did a Christmas haul last year. I really don't know, but I'm back, ready to start posting on YouTube. I have another YouTube video coming out somewhat soon of me cooking, which is never a good thing. So that one's an interesting one. Anyways, let's get started with stocking stuffers. Sometimes Santa brings us stockings and sometimes Santa forgets to bring us stockings. Um, this year he did remember. Last year I don't think he did. But we got the underwear. Always need a new pair of underwear. Of course, we love. Then, let me just get back a little so I can actually reach. We got a loofah. I've had my loofah for way too long and it needs to go. Oh, there's sparkles in the loofah. There's sparkles in the loofah. Anyways. Needed this. I take baths a lot as well, so this is good. I also exfoliate a lot, so that's also good for that. Gum. Um, I haven't tried it yet. It's cinnamon, though, which might be a little spicy for Shay. Shay has very sensitive taste buds, so this may not be good, but we'll try it. We'll find out. Was this? Yeah. Okay, so I got two of these because my mom didn't... I mean, Santa didn't know which one I wanted. Um, this is the one I wanted, but I actually like this one more, and it's the one I have on because it's kind of like a darker color. Like, this one's this color. Okay. And this one is a darker color. Kind of. At least I see it that way. I don't know. This one's also a gel, and this one's just, like, sunscreen. It doesn't- I also can't see, like, when I put it on, I can't see it, you know? I don't know. I also just hate wearing blush sometimes, so I needed to try a new blush instead of like a powder brush. Blush, not brush. Anyways, I used to love these when I was a kid. Love them. It's a, it's a bottle pop. I need to eat it, actually. But I'm going to work out today, so I can't. Hair clips. I've broken all of my hair clips or my friends have broken my hair clips by stepping on them because I don't pick them up off the ground in my room. So this is good. Needed these desperately. Um, don't even know how to wear one really and like look cute wearing it. So we'll have to figure that out. My friend Bailey wears one and it always looks cute. So maybe we'll take some lessons from her. Next, socks. If you ever see me wearing matching socks, just know it's a great day for me because I'm never wearing matching socks. In fact, I think I already lost the first pair I used of these. There were five in here. And I, I'm looking around my room and I don't see the first pair I use. So that's, sorry, Santa. Anyways, um, 12 flavor gummy bears. Haven't tried them yet. I also got Starburst that I did eat all of them. So, yeah. What else? We got Sour Patch Kids, the tropical flavor. I don't know if I've ever had tropical flavor. I know I've had the normal ones, obviously, but I don't know if I've ever had tropical flavor. We'll have to try it. And this cute little... Th oh, that's not it. This cute little thing, it's a, like a wall plug-in. It's so cute. And I'll never lose my charger because I have a special box. You feel? Anyways. And then this is like a security alarm. A lot of girls have it. Basically, you pull this thing, like ding, and it... Da -da 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 -da. So it like scares people off. Um, yeah. I'm kind of nervous to have this on my keys because I'm afraid I'm gonna actually accidentally pull it and then not gonna know how to put it back. But I think I just put the little thing back in there, I hope. I don't know, we'll have to find out. I need to put them on my keys actually. And then whatever this is, um, Sour Flush Candy Plunger with Sour Powder Dip, watermelon flavor. Something new to try. Oh, it's literally a toilet. It'll be interesting. Okay, now on to the gifts my brother got me. Well, he only got me one. Um, last year, he got me pepper spray, okay? This year, a pink folding knife. Now, I don't know when I'm ever gonna use this or when I'm ever going to take it out of the packaging, but I think Cameron wants to protect me and that is great. I still have his pepper spray. 
that he gave me. He gave me two of them. So I'm set. I got a knife and some pepper sprays and I'm good for life. I mean, great brother for, for trying to protect me. Really. And then I got, I love puzzles. I am a nerd for puzzles. I will always love puzzles. Have always loved puzzles. And will always love puzzles. I don't know if I already said that, but it's a horse puzzle. I also have horses. Um, it's actually kind of sad because my horse actually just passed away, which is really hard. Okay, it just got really depressing in here. Anyways, horse puzzle. <laughs> okay. Now from my cousin, basically my aunt. My brother plays for Penn State. He is a quarterback there and his number is 14. So when you go into games, you have to have like a clear bag. Um, so she got my fanny pack, which is really good because I never bring a bag into things and then I end up having to like leave something out and then having to go back. Actually, one time I was going to a game. For some reason, I walked from my tailgate to the stadium, which is probably a five minute walk and brought my Stanley with me. I lost that Stanley. I have one over there, but I lost the one that I got for my birthday from my parents. So that was unfortunate, um, but it's fine. I have Charlie Stanley over there that she got me for my birthday. So we're good, but this, and she also got me, oh, my finger was stuck. I've already used actually one of them, but some Lush, uh oh, some Lush stuff. I'm, again, I'm always in the bath doing something, whether that's shaving or just watching murder mysteries on my computer. I'm always in the bath, so these are helpful. Oh gosh, I'm running out of room. All right, now on to the gifts my parents and my grandparents got me. Um, I got these before Christmas. But I desperately needed sunglasses because, again, I'm always losing sunglasses or I'm breaking them. I think I've broken every last pair of sunglasses that I've owned. Um, I, I don't even know where the pink ones I have are. So, these are good. Let's hope we don't lose them there. Some lady at the store told me they were keys. I'm just going to say K, quays because that's it says quay. Okay. Don't bash me in the comments for that. Next, we got a, it's already been used, um, a Hammett navy purse, for, also for games. So we got two now, two to choose from, which is nice. We always love op options. What? For some reason, I can't speak today. All right, now on to the clothes. First, and most importantly, one of my favorite colors is pink. So when you see a lot of pink, that's why. Okay? Are we clear? Okay. A cropped, what is it called? Scuba. Scuba sweatshirt? Zip up. Cutesy, we love it. It's really soft too. I didn't know these were soft. I had scubas in the past, but I got them when I was in like seventh grade and I'm now graduated. So they no longer fit, which is a little sad. So mom was a real one or grandma. I think this is from grandma. Grandma was a real one and got me a new scuba. Next, of course, because we are a Penn State family. I also just don't have that many Penn State clothes considering how much I'm actually in Pennsylvania. I mean, we have a house in Pennsylvania. You would think I would own a lot more Penn State stuff, but like, I really don't. So this is nice that I got this because we need it. I'm always doing something Penn State related. The bowl game's coming up actually, so make sure you're cheering on Penn State. Okay. Okay. Next, this is an outfit and it's actually so cute. I wore it first day with a pink Bass Pro hat. Pink Bass Pro hat, yeah. Um, and with this outfit, it was so cute. Everyone loved it. So we have, again, pink, okay? Pink joggers. On my Christmas list, the only thing on my Christmas list was Lululemon and joggers. That's it. Because I have no sweatpants at all. But like, I don't like normal sweatpants. I only like joggers. So joggers and Lululemon and Yeezys. Okay. That is sweet. I saw this at Urban and I totally forgot about it because I don't go to them all that often. 
And I saw it in Urban with my mom and I was like, that's so cute, let's get it. And then she's like, no, let's not get it. I wonder why. Cause grandma already got it for me. Oh, here's the front, you see the matching? Okay, they're not like spot on, but you can't tell when they're far away. It has pink, purple, and whatever, emerald? So cute. Obsessed, love. And then when you pair it with the shoes I got, it's even, and the pink hat outfit is amazing. Okay, moving on. My mom and dad got this for me. It's just a Lululemon cropped, I don't know what they're called, but it's a Lululemon cropped shirt. I've already worn it to the gym. So it's a little dirty, but <laughs> just disregard that. What else is there? Oh. Okay, my friend told me the other day that a bunch of people are wearing number 14 shirts, which, yes, you slay because that's my brother's number. And it's even better if it's in navy and white or navy and black or navy and cream. Number 14, again, because my brother's number 14 and I have no Penn State stuff. And another one in, I think this is black, might be navy, black. And I could, on one of these, probably this one, I'm gonna put Smolik on the back up here um, because I like painting clothes. I don't like painting like on a canvas. I like painting clothes. It's weird, I know, but it's actually so fun. You should try it sometime. And then this is from Addicted. Um, when I first opened this, I was a little confused because It looks like it's for like a toddler, like the size wise. But I tried it on and if I just leave it open, it's actually really cute with like a red shirt under it. But it says athletic department 72, right? Yeah, 72. Um, This next one is also from Addicted. I've already worn it. I've already actually worn a lot of these clothes. I'm missing, oh yeah. A lot of these clothes, whoa, whoa. It's just a little star. From addicted but i have no sweaters either which is weird because i live in two cold states so probably should have a lot more sweaters than i do but i have a lot of summer clothes i think it's just me manifesting summer coming faster i don't really know but sweaters are a much needed thing in this house because i can't steal my mom's sweaters anymore because she doesn't have any either again this is a necessity black nike joggers of course And then some jeans. I have like 800 pairs of jeans, but they're all either skinny jeans or mom jeans that don't necessarily fit anymore or they're standing jeans, okay? I know you ladies know what standing jeans are because the ones I have on are standing jeans. I don't know why I have them on right now, but they are standing jeans. They're like cargo flare pants. I don't necessarily know how to explain them. They're kind of low rise. They might be mid rise. They're kick boot. I, well, yeah, they're low rise. But I tend to always pull my pants up way too far, even if they are low rise. So I made them a high rise. What else do we have? Oh, the last thing. No, you have to be nice to him because his home was crushed by a dog named, a Great Dane named Harley. So he sat. This is Charlie. Charlie is a dairy cow. No, he's not, he's a male. I actually don't know what he is. Charlie is a quick mover in life. He never likes to stay in one place too long. So carry him with you wherever you go. Your purchase gives back to the sanctuary that rescues animals in need. And then you can tap your phone on this and it like shows you all about our cow that we helped rescue is named Truth. She's a baby, but Charlie is my cow for now until I get a real Charlie someday. And then my oldest brother also got one. His name was Henry the, I don't know, but he looked like my brother's old cow named Brownie that he loved very much. And yeah, we love Charlie. And then my brother, hold on, I gotta go get it. My other brother, 
forgot about these until like two seconds ago. Got me navy. This is the one that plays at Penn State. Um, Lululemon Align HR Mini Flare Pants 28. They don't fit. The flare goes too far up my leg to like look okay. So I have to go back and get the longer flare pants. But he's so thoughtful. I got both my brothers Lululemon. So I was like, Jackson, do me a solid and get me something from Lululemon. Just to like, you give back to those in need of Lululemon. And he did, he did good. If they fit, he did really good. So we're gonna take him back and get a new pair. And that is that, I think that's, oh, no it's not, I'm an idiot. Also, yeah, okay. I got, so I got Yeezys two years ago and they lasted me up until like November of this year and they're still intact, but there's a little hole in them. So I was like, I need, they're so reliable and I'm always doing something and they're stylish. So I need a new pair. So I got an all white pair. The last one I got were like cream. Love these. They're actually so cool and comfortable. They're really comfortable. They're seven and a half and they're just all white and they were, are reflective. You can't actually tell if they're reflective right here, but they are reflective. And then I also got, which I don't have at the moment because we took it back because it didn't fit me. But um, I got a diamond ring from my cousin's jewelry shop called Anglo. And it was a really cute ring. I don't know my ring size though. My mom doesn't know my ring size either. So she unfortunately got the, Santa unfortunately got the wrong size. So we have to go return that and um, get a new size. I have really long and fat fingers. I just have really big hands in general. So yeah. Also, this was in no way, shape or form me bragging about anything I got. I'm very, very grateful. Everyone that has gotten me gifts knows I'm extremely grateful. My brothers, my grandparents, my cousins, my parents, they all know and I've said thank you to all of them. So I want you to know that I'm not bragging. I'm very grateful for everything and I know I'm very fortunate to have a Christmas the way I have a Christmas. But that being said, I hope you guys have a very, had a very Merry Christmas and they have a very Happy New Year. I now have to clean my room because, oh, Charlie, um, it's a little messy now. But thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, which is at Shay Smolik. Bye, guys.